A peaceful concert called Enough is Enough filled Langan Park with music, dancing, and important conversations on the Black Lives Matter movement earlier tonight. WKRG News 5's Gabby Easterwood was at that concert. Gabby, did all this rain affect the concert? Well, thankfully, Dana, they were able to wrap up the concert before any of the rain or the lightning was over at Langham Park. But there, that was not before dozens of people came out to see that entertainment and also to be part of the conversation. Today, we have to take a stand to bring justice and peace into the land and to the homes of the many families affected by this devastation. A family-oriented concert with dancing, singing, even poetry readings, all centered at calming racial tensions in our community. We see what's going on. We're not blind to it anymore. It won't be covered up. It won't be hidden in the shadows. We're going to bring it to the forefront. We're going to demand a change. So we're going to do it peacefully. Racism is a learned behavior. So with that being said, why not unlearn it? The message is simple. One of the groups performing, the Culture Dance Crew, shed light on the importance of including youth in our conversations on heritage and racial equality. Our kids really need to know their, their culture. They need to know their, their, um, their, their heritage and all of that stuff. So we're excited to bring them to see different things and different cultures because we don't just want to know our culture. We want to know everybody else's culture. As well. Organizers hope events like this help lessen the racial divide. The main message is it's not black versus white. It's not. At the end of the day, it's love versus hate. And so I know that we all have been feeling tension over all this. And so pretty much that's the statement. Enough is enough. This is us making a stand, a peaceful approach, and letting the world or anyone know, anyone watching, that enough is enough. The organizers also told us while we were at the event that they hope to have more entertainment and concerts of this nature that bring our community together. Reporting live in Mobile, I'm Gabby Easterwood, WKRG News 5.